What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So y'all have been hitting me up in the DMs, in the comment section down below on Twitter to check out who is the king of the spear. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to check it out. Um, me personally, I'm sure they're going to have Goldberg in this compilation. That was always my favorite like wrestler to hit the spear like he is just something about his intensity the way he just the way the setup for it alone and let's be honest he was one of the hottest things in wcw he was their stone cold if that makes any sense granted the difference between him and stone cold is stone cold was a much better wrestler goldberg just had a couple of moves you wanted to see a spear a jackhammer one two three that's it and it worked his that gimmick for him worked stone cold was different he talked a lot more trash on the mic he was a badass he was going against the boss and it worked for him both of them ball so hey i don't know what that says for that time period but ball the uh, motherfuckers was uh running the show in wrestling but appreciate all the love and support road to 20k man let's get it check out who's the king of the spear i think i'm gonna go with goldberg on this one though look at that Wolf gang. I'm trying to see. I'm not sure if I know this wrestler. What a spear by His spear looks a little. Okay, that was nice. It's like he carries you. Not a, a, not a bad variation of it. It's like he literally carries you. Not a bad variation of it. Webster alone in the ring with this man. what a spear. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. Measuring Andrews. Oh. One thing I like about the series, they show you the different wrestlers that hit some of the same or similar moves. I've never been a fan of Christian Spear, to be honest with you. I know he was definitely doing it once uh, Edge uh, got injured. As more of a tribute, but I, I never was a big fan of it. Yeah, I never was a really big fan of it. It's okay. Spears. I just never was a fan of it. If anything, I liked I liked Edge's spear better. I always like Edge spear better. Bobby Lashley's spear was actually pretty nice. Not gonna lie to you, his spear was actually nice. His spear was actually pretty nice. Not gonna lie. God, yeah, his spear was pretty nice. God, it's like it's just all that that muscle mass. <laughs> like he really dives into it. <laughs> yeah, like he jumps into that. It's just a lot of mass and weight. Oh my, like he low-key ended up flipping from the momentum. Angelo Dawkins didn't know that. Well, maybe I wasn't paying attention to it. Oh my Jesus. Yeah, he, he actually does. Never really paid attention to it like that, I guess. Shout out to Angelo Darkins. Wearing the 13s. Wearing the 13s while wrestling, bro. He he always usually wearing like some pretty dope J's. Or some pretty dope shoes just in general. Oh, 
This is okay, though. I think what he works for he is is because he has a lot of weight on him. No pun intended. So, yeah, I forgot the Big Show has a spear, too. I don't really care for his, either. I never really cared for his. I know it looked like it would hurt, though. Shout out to the Big Show, man. He's been in in wrestling for many, many years. He's been in the WWE for so many years, like a lot of years. Wow, a young Drew McIntyre before the beard. Oh my Jesus! Oh my God, bro. I mean, you would it, you would think it's a devastating move because he's so huge, but oh my, oh no, Evan Bourne, no, that would, oh my God, Rhino Spear was nice. Rhino Spear to me is up there with Goldberg. His spear, well, his gore, as uh, they call it, I like guess. Oh my God. Yeah, his is nice. I'm not gonna lie. I usually always love his uh his gore. Oh no! <laughs> it's much cringier when the announcer is announced today. Oh my God! <laughs> Bro, The Rock. Used to sell that spear. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that gore was nasty. It, it's this is up there for me. Oh my! I forgot Batista has one too. I, I don't think I never really cared for Batista's. I think I like the uh, Bobby Lashley's better. That's crazy. Batista's, I don't really care for. Yeah, I don't really care for Batista's spear. It's okay, but. Yeah, I just never really cared for it. Of course. Yeah, that, that one looked kind of sloppy. That definitely looked kind of sloppy. Batista has confidence. And he also has strength and power. Come on. Johnny? He's furious. And remember, this is not. Oh, yeah, he does have the diving through the rope spear. Ah, yeah. I do like his variation of it, 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 it fits his character. He does have that diving through the rope spear. I actually like his because it's 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 not just like a traditional spear. It it, it fits his high flying style. That's why I like it. Yeah, that's that's why I like it. The NXT champion is a tag was made. Johnny Gargano is the Oh, I love it. So is it you still suck? That was a fantastic match, too. This was a fantastic match. Oh my God. This was a fantastic match. Yeah, I think you can call it a spear when he dives through the, the ropes. Yeah, it's hella dangerous. Look at this, bro. Yeah, that shit is hella dangerous, bro. I, I'll give it to him because he only hits this outside to the floor. That. That is very, very dangerous, bro. He's going full speed, and he hits that to go all the way down to the floor. Anything can happen. Bro, that's no pun intended. A lot of weight once again, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, jeez. 
gotta be. Book. No, that's what I'm saying. Fair and balanced, book. And Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> His is nice, though. Roman Reigns, before his character was like, like over pushed and annoying. His spear is nice though. He has a nice spear. Like when he was with the shield, yeah, his spear. And I think it's because of the character. I think if they never would have just over pushed him and pushed him the correct way, didn't shove him down our throats, I think. We would like his move set. We would like his spear even more. It's not a bad spear. It's actually pretty good for like kids that are growing up now that don't know much about Goldberg. They would think this is the best version of the spear. Of course, us, you know, that watch Goldberg, we know. But for the new era, I can see why people would think this is the best version of it. His was nice and impactful. Look at this. That's, that's I'm not going to lie to you. Some of them ones he's hit. Are nice. Like I hope they show the one he hit on Triple H. Oh my Jesus! They gotta show the one he hit on Triple H. That one was nasty, bro. He has a nice spirit. His is up there. Oh my Jesus! Oh. That was a nice one too. Like he has a lot of impact to his. Yeah, that one's a good one. Oh, they didn't show it. Edge has a, a nice one. Edge has a nice one. He has a nice one. Edge has a nice one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like Edge is better than Batista's. Look at this, bro. The ultimate opportunist. Damn, Edge. I can't wait for you to come back. One of the best things on uh, WWE television. Oh, of course. You got to put this in there. Oh, my Jesus. You, I don't think people understand. That's not fake fire. You can't fake that. My man literally went head first to spear someone through a flaming table. That is one of the most hardcore spots WWE has ever produced. You can't fake that. That's legendary. I'm sorry. That's one of the most legendary spears of all time. Oh, and this one right here. A spear from the top of the ladder all the way down. Bruh, you, you got to put Edge up there. He has some of the most memorable spears of all time, bro. This is ridiculous. Hold on. Hold on. We got to go back to that. that. That is just ridiculous. This clip always gives me goosebumps. Of course, none other than Goldberg. Got to say the best for last. Goldberg. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, Nunzio. Goodbye, Nunzio. Jesus, Nunzio. Hell, when he came back, he looked good. Oh, against a young Big Show. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. It's the intensity that works. Well, Dolph sold it like a champion. He sold that like a champion. Christian. Christian show. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> oh man, yeah. They didn't show some of the better clips, like the one he hit on Rosie through the the barricade. That was one of my favorite spears from him. Um, but yeah, man. If I had to rank it, 
Of course, Goldberg in his prime, in his heyday, will be number one. I actually like the gore from Rhino. Um, I'm going to actually give the gore from Rhino number two. Um, I'm going to give Edge number three. And the reason why I'm going to give Edge number three is because, like I said before, it was the moments that he had with those spears. Like, the moments... Like the like the actual moment of spearing somebody through a flaming table, spearing somebody off the top of a ladder, and it's just how he would hit it. it you know, he had the ultimate opportunist gimmick, so he had the facial expression like he's hungry. He's gonna hit you with it, you don't even know it. So I have to give him number three, and uh, I'm gonna probably go ahead and give um, Roman Reigns number four for me, not because. His is actually pretty good, very impactful. It's just his character is so like bland at one point because no one wanted him to be the guy and they kept pushing him. That's why it, it's not higher up on the list. But his spirit is nice, so that would be my ranking just of the top four from this video. But comment down below what would be y'all ranking? Who would y'all have number one? I want to know. I uh, appreciate all love and support. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Road to 20K. You already know what it is. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.